ABC 7 reporter Noah Pransky live tonight to show us the conditions there. Good evening, Noah. I can hear the wind. It is pretty brutal out here. We're now entering the 21st hour of continuous rain, rain along these Lake Okeechobee towns. And I got to tell you, the rain total has been pretty amazing out here. We've seen rain totals in the 7, 8, 9 inches area, and they don't really don't know exactly how much rain has fallen here because those gauges that were 6 inches tall overflowed. The gauges that were 8 inches tall overflowed. So we're told somewhere in the 7 to 10 inch rain, and the water is all around here. A lot of the low-lying areas here are completely underwater, and here in the actual main city of Moorhaven. We're going to take a look right into the eye of this wind right now. It's going to get tough to see, but you can see a parking lot completely underwater, several feet, wind just sweeping over it. And not only is this a water issue like it has been throughout Southwest Florida, as we take a look just on the other side of the street, a large tree is down. It's been a big wind story here too. The wind hitting this community much harder than it hit other areas of Southwest Florida, much like we saw in in Hurricane Wilma. Now, we're not here to say the storm is as bad as it was for Hurricane Wilma, but the wind, again, hitting these inland communities just so hard. We are even going to take an opportunity to wipe off this camera anytime we need to, so forgive us because it is pretty wet and pretty windy out here. But we saw wind gusts up in the 60, 70, even 74 mile per hour range out here, and that's hurricane strength. Now, it's not sustained, so it never was a hurricane so far, but it's a tropical storm and is really beating this community. We see some water damage. We see some wind damage. There is one good thing to pass along here, though, Lake Okeechobee. It's only at 11 and a half feet right now. That's three feet below its current level. That should be coming up soon. Hopefully it's good enough to help the area out here and not too fast that it kills off some of the ecology of the lake. We'll continue to monitor the situation for you, but for now we're live in Moorhaven. Noah Pransky, ABC7 News.